Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, we will look at the process to move from Tally ERP9 to Tally Prime 3.0 and use existing license and data. Ensure the following are in place before you start the upgrade to Tally Prime. You need to have 64-bit Windows operating system with the recommended configuration shown in the table. You need to have a valid TSS subscription to upgrade to Tally Prime 3.0. If TSS has expired before 12th of June 2023, you will not be able to upgrade. Visit the Tally website or contact your partner to renew the TSS. Take data backup before you proceed to upgrade. Ensure that the data is opening without any errors in Tally ERP9 before you upgrade. Make sure the users are not working on Tally data when upgrade is in process. Let us now install Tally Prime on a computer where Tally ERP9 is already installed and has an active perpetual license. Download Tally Prime 3.0 installer from the website. Double click the Tally Prime Setup EXE. Here you have the choice to either update the existing Tally ERP9 or install Tally Prime separately. If you have a single instance of Tally ERP9 running, you will be directly taken to the update process. In case you have multiple instances of Tally ERP9 installed, select the Tally ERP9 installation in the list and press Enter. To install Tally Prime separately, click More Actions and install New. Go back to Update Existing Setup. In the Update Tally ERP9 screen, click Update. An update successful message is displayed. Click Start Tally Prime to start the application. Tally Prime will start in license mode. Tally Prime will start in education mode if Tally ERP9 was in educational mode at the time of update. If you have an existing license with valid TSS, you can reactivate the license in just a couple of clicks and use Tally Prime in licensed mode. If you are using multi-user, please follow a similar upgradation process on clients and click on Use License from Network option to access the license. Now that we have upgraded to Tally Prime, let's migrate the Tally ERP9 data to Tally Prime 3.0. Tally Prime Release 3.0 provides an enhanced and simpler data migration experience. There are some recommended practices that will allow you to complete the migration quickly and without interruptions. Minimum 4 GB RAM in your computer. There can be a performance boost while using a computer with a higher RAM capacity and a hard disk that uses an SSD storage. Free up enough disk space. During migration, in case the application encounters less space for the data, you will be prompted about the low disk space for migration. Ensure to free up disk space accordingly and migrate. Verify the company GST details. Ensure that the GSTIN, state and registration type are correct in the F11 features of the source company. Split company data. If you have large volume of data, more than 1 lakh transactions per year, across multiple financial years, split the data. Migrate during non-working hours or over the weekends to eliminate any disruptions to your business operations during the working hours. Close other applications, if not needed at that point, to optimize system resources. Take a backup of the data. It is highly recommended to take a backup of the company data before migration. Further, there are some recommendations to follow during migration. If you need to record transactions during migration, you can do so by restoring the backup saved before the migration. Such transactions can be easily imported to the migrated data. However, avoid making changes to the existing transactions. In case you must make changes, keep a note of the changes so that you can easily identify such transactions, import them post-migration and verify. 
Note that importing the vouchers or masters will not import the corresponding edit log information. Some of the imported vouchers might move into uncertain transactions category which will impact the GST reports. Resolve any uncertain transactions before starting to work on the migrated company data. Avoid creating or altering any masters and deleting or marking any voucher as optional in the data that you are migrating. Such changes will need to be done separately again in the latest release. You can track the progress of migration and view a migration summary report to know the statistics related to masters and transactions. Open Tally Prime as you can see, the companies are listed and you can easily identify the companies that require migration. These are 5-digit companies compatible with earlier release of Tally Prime and Tally ERP9. Migrating data to Tally Prime 3.0 leads to the creation of a new 6-digit company with 0 as the prefix in the company's number while retaining the original 5-digit company which is renamed with the text migrated to 3.0. It eases the identification of both the companies. Moreover, it is important to note that the new 6-digit company will not be compatible with the earlier releases. Now, select the company and press Enter. Tally Prime informs you that the company will be migrated as a new 6-digit company with zero prefix to the company number of the existing 5-digit company. This change makes the company compatible to the current release. Press C to configure. We recommend you take a backup before migrating. Now, press R to migrate. As you can see, Tally Prime shows the progress of migration right from the creation of the 6-digit company to migration of masters and then transactions. Once the migration is completed, you get to view a migration summary report. You can see if the migration is successful. Press Alt plus F5 to view the detailed report and then you can compare the number of masters and transactions before and after migration. The number of masters appears to be one more than that before migration as a master for GST registration gets added to it to support the multiple GST registration feature. This change in number will be observed only when you are migrating from an earlier release to tally prime release 3.0 or later. It is also mentioned under Updates in Company Data. Press Escape and seamlessly continue to use the company to record your business transactions. After migration, when you select the company from the same folder, you can see both the companies, the 6-digit company that got created after migration and the old 5-digit company that is retained. Tally Prime ensure to take care of your business data in the best possible way after migration. To make your after migration experience smooth and simple, we recommend the following. If your data had any aberrations in the previous release, there might be some data loss. Verify and compare the statistics of company data before and after migration. In case there is any difference, repair the data in the latest release to validate if any data was lost due to data corruption. Tally Prime Release 3.0 by default shows exceptions that occur during migration. The exceptions can occur due to the lack of complete information in masters or transactions, the absence of the parent group or master in the data to which the data is imported, or the use of invalid characters in a field. Tally Prime Release 3.0 brings in the facility that helps you not only to identify the exceptions during the process but also resolve those so that the respective masters or transactions become part of the data with the appropriate details. Whenever there are exceptions, Tally Prime shows the alphabet E on Gateway of Tally which reminds you to resolve exceptions. As you saw, we have simplified the licensing process of Tally Prime by enabling you to use the existing license in a few simple steps. 
Also, Tally Prime Release 3.0 has further simplified the migration of company data. As you can identify the status of data, know the status of migration, and view the migration summary report to know the statistics of masters and transactions. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to the Tally Solutions channel for the latest videos.